Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm glad to have you with us for NBA basketball. The NBA season just getting rolling. It'll be LeBron James and the Miami Heat facing off against the Los Angeles Clippers. 2K Sports presents the NBA. This is NBA basketball on 2K Sports. It's Wednesday, up day, and we're ready to bring you all the action. I'm Kevin Harlan here along with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr with Doris Burke on the sideline. It's Western Conference against the Eastern Conference here in Los Angeles where the Clippers will try to protect home court. This game against Miami here, their first look at the Heat. Well, they were the better team when these two teams got together a year ago, no question. Uh, sweeping the season series 2-0. All right, presented by State Farm, let's take a look at the Miami starting five. Oh, oh man, that was unreal. Mark it up. Man, oh man, finishing with flavor. Yeah, he put something extra on that one. You're right. And the bench going wild, guys. They love it. What an amazing dunk. Here's Paul. Well, LeBron James winning his third MVP in four seasons uh, last year. And by the numbers, anyway, far and away the best player in the league, averaging around 27 points, eight boards, six assists, almost a walking triple-double. Offensive rebound. And good on the basket. Book it. Excellent job carving out space under the glass to make that putback possible. Clippers on defense. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. And the story of the game, Kevin, was the outside shooting. They really lit it up from three-point range. Well, they were giving far too many open looks from out there, Steve. I mean, they were shooting warm-up jumpers. That's what happens when you play a team that's weak on the perimeter defensively. Paul. Can't get it to go. Excellent D from Wade. And going back to LeBron last season, playing the best basketball of his career. Yeah, and he easily could have won four years in a row the MVP trophy, but voter fatigue, I think, does kick in. It's not something people want to hear, but it's a reality. If you ask me, LeBron has been the best in the game for probably five or six years at least. There's nobody that does what he does on a consistent basis. Here's LeBron following the basket by Blake Griffin. LeBron kicks to box. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, you look at Chris Bosh, and last year he put together another solid season with Miami. Average about 18 points and eight boards. Not the numbers that he had when he was in Toronto, but of course he didn't have all that talent around him. And he's fit in quite well with Wade and LeBron. And so Bosh nails both of them. And for Bosh Clark, you know, the dip in his numbers that he said himself he's wanted to correct is to get his rebounding numbers back up in double digits. Yeah, but you have to look at this Miami team as one of the best in the league, and the forwards do an unusual amount of rebounding. I mean, LeBron and D-Wade as a two-guard and three, they get a ton of rebounds, so Bosch doesn't necessarily have to do a bunch of glass heat. You know, the defense has to prevent the ball from getting down into that area if they're going to be successful, guys. Phillips with the ball. He played real well against Atlanta in that last game. Over Wade, and Chauncey Billups the bucket on the assist by Hill. Billups has got his first pass. He shouldn't be afraid to take that shot more often. He's solid from there. The Clippers seemed to be a walking highlight real last season. They were able to take full advantage of teams from the East when they met up. Chalmers dishes to LeBron. The fadeaway. And the Heat get another bucket right there. Boy, is he spit polished offensively. His ability to break down defense is one of their driving forces. Makes the alley pass, and Griffin slams it in. I'm not sure if any play is going to top that one. Maybe the only play that could beat it is another alley-oop jam. Yep. Even then, it'd be hard to execute it any better than that one. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And the Clippers finish with an 11-7 record against the East. Wins they needed, Steve, to jockey for playoff position. You know, even before Chris Paul arrived, Kevin, uh, the Clippers seemed to play against the East pretty well. So I think those numbers should only improve as the uh, Clippers mature as a team and continue to add uh, talent to their roster. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Hill. Crawford comes in for Chauncey Billups. Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for Chris Paul. And here's Bledsoe. Shane Battier getting his three to go. Butler, he's guarded by Battier. Fades away. Another one falls for the Clippers. 
He exposed a flaw in the defense. No way they're supposed to be giving him that shot. Miller outside. Kicks it to LeBron. Back to Miller. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. Oh, they couldn't look up there on what's really a pretty basic pass. A big group substitution here for the Clippers. Ronnie Turioff, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Odom comes in for Blake Griffin. Chauncey Billups has checked in for Jamal Crawford. And it's Paul in for Eric Bledsoe. And a new group in for the Heat. Chris Anderson has checked in for Hazlitt. Allen comes in for LeBron. Dwayne Wade's checked in for Mike Miller. And it's Norris Cole in for Mario Chalmers. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for the Clippers. Barnes comes in for Karan Butler. The Heat also changing it up. Joel Anthony's checked in for Anderson. LeBron comes in for Ray Allen. And it's Chalmers in for Norris Cole. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. The offense is getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layups. Earn it from the line. And that one falls for Paul. So both teams making some changes here. And so Paul nails both of them. He's one of the best free throw shooters in the league. And this game, no different. He's making each trip to the line count. Here's Battier. And he beat the buzzer. But it's no good. And so lots of scores. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers, guys. And it's been beautiful basketball to watch, guys. Really sharing and moving the ball. And as a result, they've got a great flow going. Hand in glove. Five guys working as one. The power of the fist, we call it. They've racked up a bunch of assists. So with LeBron on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Mario Chalmers and Dwayne Wade, the tandem in the backcourt. Lewis is out there with Shane Battier, and it's Bosch in at the five, roaming the paint. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Well, guys, DeAndre Jordan, one of the premier shot blockers in the game. He's trying to learn all the tricks of the trade, waiting to jump until after the ball is released. Also, he said, I'm working on blocking to keep the ball in bounds or blocking to a teammate like Bill Russell did. Guys, there's no question, despite his success, Jordan still has a lot of untapped potential. Unlimited potential, Doris. Thank you very much. Yeah, he's still rounding out his game. He has all the physical tools you could want, uh, but it's just a matter of continuing to put in the work. That's good. Well, you can imagine when you have the players that he have and LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, who can finish at the rim like those guys do, you're going to have a very high shooting percentage, or at least you should, and that was definitely the case for them. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. Back to what you say, Clark. The Heat shot a little bit worse as a team last year than the year before, but still finished in the top five in the league. So Steve's still an offensive power. Yeah, mainly because of the talents of LeBron and Wade. That opens up a lot of three-point looks for their teammates. And, of course, in transition, that's a devastating duel. And it's almost an automatic dunk when they make a steal or get a long rebound. That's what he's all about. That's who he is. Retrieving those misses and exploding right back to the butt. Prime example of it right there. No question. Good point, Clark. Yeah, great rebounder and a great finisher. So that's a difficult combination to deal with for the defense. Here's LeBron. The Clippers get in the bucket. Lays it in off the expert drop step. LeBron's now got eight points. Well, that makes five of their last six makes coming from inside. Yeah, really focused on getting the ball into the paint because they're taking advantage of very porous defense down there. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Cole's got the ball. And LeBron throws it down. Flawless alley-oop that time. That's some real stylish basketball there. Almost looks like a play they've been rehearsing for a while. Well, that's the beauty of the alley-oop. It, it appears that way, but really it's just timing and, and sort of a, an innate sense of awareness between two teammates. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Roni Turioff, he's checked in for Odom. Butler comes in for Matt Barnes. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for Chauncey Billups. And it's Paul in for Eric Bledsoe. And a new group in for the Heat. Chris Bosh has checked in for Hazard. Mattier comes in for Rashard Lewis. Dwayne Wade's checked in for Ray Allen. 
and it's Chalmers in for Norris Cole. Well, you talk about Chris Bosh's fit alongside LeBron and Wade. It's been a good one. He can spread the floor with his jump shooting. Pretty good rebounder. And just a nice threat to have when those two guys on the wing are getting double teamed all the time. Here's Paul following the basket by LeBron James. Crawford outside. He kicks it to Griffin. Terry off inside. Griffin can't get it to go in. And, you know, looking at Chris Bosh, guys, I think those complimentary plays should be his focus on this team. You know, defensive rebound, playing good defense away from his man, knocking down the open jumper, stretching the defense a little bit. I mean, great teams really require that you accept a more defined role across the board, and that's the price you have to pay for winning, and he's a guy that's shown the ability to do that. And Miami has possession after the Clippers pick up two. LeBron is doubled. Battier lets it go with a three. And Turioff pulls it down. Well, that defense went from four to no defense at all. Well, you don't see him miss that shot very often. When he's open like that, it usually lights out. Well, they haven't been getting lit up from outside here. All the points they're giving up are from in close. They've got to offer more resistance. Yeah, defense has to get better, Clark. They've got to body up, bump somebody, get physical, force the action back out to the perimeter. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Paul passes to Butler. Feeds to Crawford. Over Wade. It's good. This game is all even. Seven seconds left in the first half of basketball. LeBron outside. Let's it go from deep. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. And that's 15 points for LeBron. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Heat out front. Now, presented by Sprint. It's Wednesday night. We're almost over the hump. This is the 2K Sports Halftime. The Heat are giving it everything they've got. This game's lived up to its billing. Two fantastic teams duking it out. For LeBron, it's been way too easy against the defense of the Clippers. His shooting percentage off the charts right now. He's got the magic touch from the field, no question about it. And from the Clippers' angle, they've been grinding away. An excellent job of getting into the paint. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. What a game for LeBron. 15 points and a block. This is something special. I mean, he hasn't missed a single shot. It's hard to find words to describe it. You know, the Clippers had a, an excellent season a year ago. They really revamped their roster. They added Chris Paul. Uh, obviously, um, the development of Blake Griffin was a major factor as well. And one thing they did a nice job of was winning at home. They controlled the floor at Staples Center. It's Chris Paul and Johnson Bullets at the one and the two. Karan Butler is out there with Hill, and it's Griffin in at the five spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, guys, an amusing side note from last season was the, quote, got him game, which arose on Clippers team flights thanks to DeAndre Jordan. He began taking pictures of any teammates or even coaches who he caught sleeping on the flight and posting them on Twitter. As the game caught on, even DeAndre himself fell victim. He tried his best to stay awake, but all it took was a short 15-minute nap, and when he woke with a start, he looked at Blake Griffin, who said nothing, but merely smiled and nodded. Got him. Kevin? Well, it sounds like fun, Doris, but the coaches might not think so. The players need their sleep. 24-9, Steve, the mark for the Clippers at home, and that is exactly... He came out and supported them, too. Part of it was the winning, but... They are just an extremely exciting team to watch and should stay that way for some time. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Now at the break of the floor, you can see the teams that led the NBA in steals last year. The Heat third. Well, when you talk about teams that had a great defense last year, you got to mention these guys. I mean, they were great at finding ways to come up with the ball. Deflections, loose balls, and steals. Boy, Chris Paul is such a joy to watch. A technician offensively, if you will. Always alert, ever in control. And he typically exploits whatever 
mistakes the defense makes. Hill drains the jumper to finish the break. That's three for four field goal shooting here in the third, so offensively, they're looking good. Wade outside. Chalmers. Outside Bosch. Allen right side. Back to Bosch. And that one's good. And the Heat lead by six. Well, when you talk about Chris Paul, one of the premier ball handlers in the league, and, and Steve, he can get anywhere he wants to on the court. Yeah, that's because of his incredible strength, Kevin. It's very deceiving. Paul doesn't look like the biggest guy, but he's really, really strong. And so all he has to do is get just a step by his defender, and then he's got the strength to hold him off and then create enough space to knock down that shot. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Hill. Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for Chris Paul. Then for the Heat, Udonis Haslow is checked in for Bosch. Mattier comes in for Ray Allen. And Mike Miller subbed in for Dwayne Wade. Phillips kicks to Bledsoe. Left side, Butler. Now Griffin inside. It's stolen by Haslow. To the middle, Miller is guarded by Phillips. Chalmers' shot is no good. So hard not to go for it when you see that chance at the alley-oop. Benny wishes he hadn't, though. Here's Bledsoe, covered by Miller. Here's Butler. Dishes it to Bledsoe. He dishes it to Butler. Here's Jordan. Chance it straight down. No time wasted getting back off the ground when he got his hands on the ball. I like that quickness of jump. And that's the idea, right? You know, take it back up strong. Yeah, of course. I mean, no reason to hold on to it any longer than you have to. And they double him up with LeBron. Here's Battier. Here's Haslam. A strong effort on the rebound. Nets the second chance points. Haslam's got his second bucket tonight. And a new group in for the Heat. Lamar Odom, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Hill comes in for Karan Buck. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for Johnson Billups. And it's Paul in for Eric Bledsoe. Well, for many years, he was really the cornerstone player as far as the culture of the Miami Heat. You know, he's a hard-working, tough, defensive-minded guy. And he's, he's a guy you really want on your team because of his ability to fight and scrap and claw for 48 minutes. Not to mention a great teammate, Steve. You be a guy who will set the tone in the locker room and sacrifice on the floor for the greater good. Sixteen seconds left in the third. Butler kicks to Crawford. Back to Butler. Launches a three. The offensive rebound. Paul dishes to Crawford. A three-pointer off the mark. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. So the Heat, their last game, a win against the Rockets in Houston. You know, it's hard to lose a game when you shoot the ball as well as they did in that one. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, shot-making can cover over a multitude of sins. The percentage they shot from the floor is one you might talk about an individual player having, not the entire team. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. Mario Chalmers in the electric D-Way at the guards. Ray Allen and LeBron James, the forwards. And it's Anthony in at center. And it's Paul penetrating. He goes up again. And it's Miami with the rebound. Well, unfortunately, he just has not been able to produce offensively to this point. Wade outside. Back to LeBron. A three ball. A shot misses. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps, and they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. Here's Chalmers, throws down the breakaway jam. Yeah, very opportunistic defense there, leading to those points. That's exactly what they'll do to you, Steve. They will pounce on your mistakes. And the Clippers call time here. 
Well, just too many easy buckets, you know, in and around the paint. So he wants to put a stop to it. This timeout is going to be used to try to tighten up the defense. Guys, at this level, they won't miss often if you keep giving up looks inside, and they're paying for that right now. Good timeout here. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Vinny Del Negro was going over with his team. He told us, guys, I know we can do this, fellas. Let's maximize every possession and get after it and just watch. Things will go our way. Kevin? LeBron against Hill. LeBron passes to Batty. Here's the dish to Wade. He feeds it to LeBron. That is good. LeBron's now got 24 points. Well, that's been nice, efficient work, guys, that he's been doing. I mean, we haven't seen him take many bad shots, and that's the sign of a mature, poised player. Bledsoe kicks to Buck, and the pass to Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. Rebounded by Battier. The Heat leading by seven. Now the feed to Allen. For the three, and the shot is good. Now, the offensive efficiency has been really important. I think that's been the difference. Well, you know, I think it's pretty simplistic, but it does oftentimes come down to this, making shots, and that's what they've done. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Passes it to Griffin. Over Bosch. Griffin can't get it to go in. The Heat have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Bosch can't hit. That's an easy shot there. That's a shot that he should make more often than not. Butler covered by LeBron. And it's Butler missing. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. LeBron has doubled. Here's Battier. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. And it's a 12-point Heat lead. They've really executed well here offensively. Well, it's going to take a major catastrophe, a colossal collapse, for them to not walk away with the win. To stop the run, count that one. He may not be their top three-point option, guys, but you still got to cover him. I mean, you got to defend him in some form or fashion. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And it's good. And that should definitely do it. Now it's starting to get out of hand. Yeah, they're not just running to the finish line. They're running through the finish line right here. They're piling it on a bit. Paul with the buckets. Very few players have his explosiveness. I mean, man, can he ever fly to get to that rim? Allen kicks to LeBron. And that is good. I think we can chalk this one up. The goal now is just to run some time. Yeah, I think it's time to get the bus started now, boys. Paul goes in. Here's Hill. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Kevin, great finish on the low block. I love it. 17 seconds left in the game. The three from LeBron. It's hauled in by Butler. Paul left side. Here's the three. Shot is no good. Here's Battier. Off target. And so it's Miami winning this one. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. Now well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with... Double your money and make a stack. I'm on to the next one. On to the next one.